my name is Julie Easold and I am responsible for the Californium 252 uh, production program. Californium 252 is a unique isotope. It only has a 2.64 year half-life, so every 2.64 years it decays into something else. Well, when it does that, 3% of the time, it spontaneous fissions and gives off neutrons. So it's a portable neutron source. It can only be made in two places in the world. One is out in Dmitrograd, Russia, and the other is here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. It is used all over industry, specifically for any nuclear power plants that have been down for a long time or brand new ones that need to be started up. They would need a neutron source. They use Californium-252. Coal, cement, and mineral analyzers, which are used all over the world, they use it as something called passive gamma neutron activation analysis. So they can literally look for impurities as they're bringing the material out of the ground and processing it. So from a coal point of view, that's how they can make sure we have the low sulfur coal so it's a more environmentally friendly energy source. The reason that we're unique to be able to make this isotope is you need two things. One is the actual feed material to starting material, which is based out of curium isotopes. The second, and more importantly, is you have to have a high thermal neutron flux reactor. And that is where the ORNL high flux isotope reactor comes into play. It is unique in that it has a high flux of 2.5 times 10 to the 15 neutrons per centimeter squared per second. And you must have that in order to make these isotopes. I'm actually a closet science teacher. Um, I enjoy research more than I would probably enjoy in the classroom, but my way of giving back is to go out in the classrooms. My favorite age group is kindergarten to fifth graders. I've brought a radiation detector and radiation sources into my daughter's preschool class with three and four year olds, and they were laughing and giggling and so excited by it. So if you can ignite that passion in three and four year olds and then continue it and build upon it in the principles, when they get into middle school and it does get harder, they can go back and remember, this was fun. I did this as a kid, this is fun. Now I understand why I did those experiments. Now I can understand the theory behind it. One of the isotopes we've made in our last two campaigns was the berkelium-249. That material was then sent to Russia where it was bombarded in a uh, ion beam of calcium-48 ions to produce six atoms of a brand new element, element-117. The next campaign we did, we made enough berkelium that it could be separated to both the Russian laboratory to do their confirmatory measurements, but also to the German laboratory to be independently confirmed, and that's the next step to getting the element named. So I was part of that discovery team of a brand new element, but it takes a long time to get them named, so I'm hoping by the time my five-year-old is in high school, it will be named, and I can say mommy did that.